Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Brandon down here at Snake River Fly. Got a new uh, flight tying tutorial in the works for you here today. Um, kind of highlighting some of your favorite products out there in the zero gravity and some straggle string. But kind of a new spin, um, kind of new technique that we've been playing with a little bit. Um, in this video as well, we are highlighting um, some of our new slotted bead colors. This one is in the olive. Um, they range in three different sizes, 3.0, 3.5, and 4.0. And so we're just going to jump right into this guy. I got a number 10 um, SRF jig hook in here with one of our balanced leech pins to a 3.5 olive bead. I've already got it kind of prepped up. And then the thread that I'm using is a 6 aught chartreuse, chartreuse waxed um, from Semperfly. So we're just going to start that. And we're going to come in first with some olive 0G or zero gravity dubbing. Take a small clump of that, kind of preen it out to where it's all somewhat uniform. We're going to stack that right off the back to build our tail, top part, olive. Fold it back, really trap in all those fibers. And then we're going to come in with a little bit of white to two-tone that tail. Stuff makes it super easy, especially on some of these smaller flies. Don't have to add any flash or anything, it's all in one. So same thing, tying that in just on the bottom. I'm filling in that gap between our pin and our tail here a little bit. Okay, so now once we got that on there, we're gonna come in with some of the straggle string and olive from Semperfly. And we're gonna cut off pretty decent chunk of that. We're going to come in and tie it in at the back, right at the base of our tail. And then we're also going to take it and basically form a loop with it. Tie in the other end right in the same spot. And so once we've done that, we're then just going to advance our thread all the way up to in front of the bead. And let that thing drop. And we're going to come in with dubbing spinner, whatever your favorite one is. I like this kind of shepherd hook style one. And so now that we've created this loop, we're going to come in with a little more white zero gravity dub. You don't want very much of this, just a pinch, and this is going to add a little more life and volume to this fly. So you just open your loop just like any other dubbing loop. Kind of stack that zero G in there the best you can. And then while holding this loop pretty tight, I'm going to start moving this stuff out to where it's pretty sparse throughout the whole thing. Okay, once we got that, just give it a spin. A couple times, come in with your pick. And just kind of brush that stuff out of scotch, get any of those trap fibers down. And then we're just going to wrap that forward, just like we normally would. So not only is this giving us a really cool underbody and kind of a two-tone look throughout, you know, adding flash and stuff like that, durability, um, but the straggle string also acts as a prop underneath this zero gravity dub to kind of help build some volume in this fly. So once we kind of get up here to the front end, a couple more wraps. Like so, and it looks like I was just a scotch short on my loop. So we're going to come in with just a touch more of this zero, zero G in white. Kind of just make a little veil. Just to kind of fill that out a little more. Pull all those fibers back. Tie it down. And then I like to come in and finish this off with just a little bit of gold solar flare. Just in the straight gold. I'm just going to noodle dub that on there and just kind of cover up our tracks up here in front and give it a little extra flare. Once you're done with that, we'll come in and whip finish. Oops. And then come through with our pick one more time, fluff that out, yet again getting any trap fibers out of the way. 
and then we'll brush this back and you can see that that zero G really wants to stand up now and you get some really good volume and profile out of this. In this particular color scheme, you know, great little minnow pattern. You can change it up, you know, all olive, whatever color in the middle, great for damsels, leeches, you know, sky's the limit with this guy, but kind of a cool technique and add a little more flair to your balance bugs. Thanks for watching and happy fishing.